Here on the Slave Mish Mountain lies a glen, a place frequented by my younger self and friends many a summer's day. Of course, as children, we knew the story somewhat, which drew us in. It seemed a longer way back down then. A place of lore and legend feeding our spirits as we sprinted down the path and over the three bridges to Scotia. The feeling is the exact same though, her spirit lingers on, she is holding the space. Queen Scotia the Miletian here to avenge her husband's murder at the hands of the two Audedanen. A great battle occurred here in our Foley's Glen, near our hometown of Tralee, our claim to mythological fame. They won the battle the Miletians did, but she lost her head Queen Scotia did. Some say she fell while pregnant on horseback while jumping the river that runs through it. What happened to her was an Irish tragedy and we can still feel it. It was a pivotal moment in our history, in the mythological Ireland, where the people of the mounds first took their home. It was then the fairy forts began. It was then the magical underworld started. All here in our Foley's Glen. The Miletians ruled from then on in, and Amergen, a great one of them, brought music and poetry to Ireland. The Miletians ruled the material world above the soil, but the people of the mounds reigned within. Ultimately, we will all return to the clay, much like Scotia and the Tuar the Danon did. But will anyone talk of our deeds and battles, wins and losses? Will stories be written of us and our claims to fame? Growing up near Foley's Glen, Glowns Cahine, south of Tralee, was a privilege. The veil of the little flower lives within me like the two-hour day of the mounds, it is our best kept secret. Now, I pass it on to you.